As in Ibanda district say lack of value addition and limited production capacity uh, challenges that are affecting their ability to gain as much as they would have from their crop. Uh, they say cultivation of plantain is continuously gaining market both locally and internationally. Formerly a banker, Roland Abaho has transitioned to gonja farming in Ibanda district, significantly increasing her annual yield to 10,000 plantlets. However, Abaho notes that limited value addition and the still low gonja production capacity in the region are affecting farmers' potential to tap into larger markets. We had even joined the, the value addition department in gonja, but reaching to a point we found out that it is becoming too costly. You can hardly get enough gonja, we get it from Masaka, from... Other gonja farmers in Ibanda also say crop growth is also being affected by the dry seasons. However, to address the challenge, the AVSI Foundation's Say project, founded by the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands, is killing farmers and youth. We also get funding as a district, but usually it's not enough to support our youth under the Youth Livelihood Program. Now this one comes in whereby the youth are supposed to benefit as groups. But now when a youth has been empowered, given the capacity at a farm institute, it means that as an individual, a youth can take on an enterprise, can start up a business without having to work as a group. In a related development, students at Rampara Farm Institute in Rampara District have ventured into value addition by producing banana wine and sugarcane juice from bananas and sugarcane grown on the school's farm for both local and school markets. We have different uh, things we do, the products. First of all, we have wine. So wine, we do, we get our local materials concerning banana, ripe banana. We hit them, we make, we produce our own wine as students. Then we also have sugarcane juice. This shift supported by the Say project is altering the perception of young people regarding agribusiness. Furthermore, the use of Skepla irrigation has made off-season farming of tomatoes, cabbages, and other vegetables profitable. Adam Mayambala, Eric Wakabi, NBS.